Hey guys, welcome back to the channel SNL Yu-Gi-Oh! And today we're gonna do our first video with the Amaryllis uh, Lightsworn deck. I know it's been a little bit. I'm trying to uh, to get everything sorted for my new job and and just have a lot of things to take care of, a lot of things I gotta kinda move around and shift. So I'm, I'm doing my best, I'm doing the best I can. I appreciate those uh, who are sticking with me throughout it all. Um, I am gonna get on a consistent schedule with this, uh, back on a consistent schedule. Um, and I'm planning on starting that today, so expect videos every you know every day for the rest of this week, and then hopefully um, every day to every other day moving forward uh, once I start my new job. So yeah, we have one week away from RBT, so I'm gonna play. I'm gonna get a few days in with this deck here, and then I'm gonna start um, practicing um, for the channel, but practicing uh, with the deck that I'm going to be playing at the RBT, which is Zombies. So. Let's go ahead and see. I haven't changed anything, I don't believe. Yeah, same deck. Let's see if we can get our first dual video. The last video was the deck profile. So let's see. Let's see if we can hopefully play against some like meta decks. Black Wings. I'm trying to think of what would be like a hard matchup. Black Wings I don't think would be too bad. Because we have like the Lilas and things like that to, to bait out the Icarus attacks. Maybe. If we can keep Titanial up, it can it can make frogs not really a hard matchup. We should add some meta. I guess Amaryllis is like meta. Why wouldn't it be? It's pretty popular right now. Oh my gosh, come on, somebody. My brother loves this deck, so I have to, uh, we gotta perfect it for him. He's always talking to me about it. We're always bouncing ideas off each other. So I'm not like the biggest fan. I do love Titanial, but um, as far as like Amaryllis as a card, I'm not really too big of a fan. I do like Miracle Fertilizer a lot though. I know most decks don't Amaryllis decks don't play that, but I like it a lot. Especially with the light sworn stuff, just being able to mill, mill titanium, mill alone fire, fertilizer it back. It's really strong. Especially when you get multiple in there and you bring back a titanium, it survives, and the next turn you um bring back another one. Sands really good. Wow. So <coughs> okay. Uh, we're definitely gonna go. Let's see what we draw will kind of determine what we want to loan fire into, but I think it's always going to be a titanium anyways, so maybe we just get those out of the deck. There's no back row, so I don't really want to just throw out Lila right now. Activate trade in. It's really good. Okay. 
Alright. We have some plays now. Miracle Fertilizer next turn can bring back a Titanial. So let's just attack. Yeah, doesn't matter, same thing. That worked out extremely well for us. Because now we have, I mean, we can just go double fertilizer into two titanials next turn, potentially, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> Snowman Eater plus Dandelion. It's kind of weird. Um... I'm not really worried about dying anytime soon, so I'm just going to normal summon Lila. Priority. I better say that, actually. Oops. I don't want to tag in case it's a battle trap. Pokemon. What's wrong with that? And the next turn, I think we're going to make our push. With fertilizer. Yeah. Yeah, next turn we'll make our push and just go for kind of control of the game. Because we'll have double Miracle Fertilizer, we can bring back two. We can go into double Titanial or Lone Fire into Dandy. Okay, this actually works out pretty good. It's fine. No back row. Uh, yeah, let's just go for it. That's not like Miracle Fertilizer. This car's crazy. Sorry for not really. I'm just thinking here. Wow. I think here we just end turn. And then next turn we have. I mean, drawing these kind of sucks, but you'd rather mill them. But I think we're okay. Debris Dragon. So you're just going to Black Rose of Field?
I guess you could do that. It's not the end of the world for me. I think he has to, unless he just goes Ancient Fairy Dragon in defense, which I guess could be an option. Hmm. Oh, yeah. An opponent's defense position monster. Can face a shroud? Other monsters you can try. This card attacking the opponent's team is monsters, all the monsters your opponent controls. Ugh. Wait, what? Attacking token? Wait, hold on, hold on, Hannah. Am I reading this wrong? Oh, okay, I see what he's saying. I thought he was just, I didn't know if he, yeah, that makes sense. 3 normal summons in our hand which is definitely not ideal we have to give this back it's not in grave right That would bring back that. Okay, let's activate. <sighs> wow. That was disgusting. Spanish. Sixty 
Let's turn during your end phase. Okay. How to get rid of the plasma. Might be able to kill next turn if it doesn't kill us. Depending on what we draw. This card is so bad to draw. Okay. Should I battle? I can't seem to get rid of this, unfortunately. So I'm thinking here. Let's attack. Main phase two. We have the one titanium. <coughs> Settler of poison. Gosh, that sucks. Yeah, he got it. Of course they leave. Um, I'm not really sure what this deck is. I guess it's maybe quick draw with like a plasma. Not too sure. It, opening this, or having this, a trooper and a poison, kind of threw us off. I mean, the fertilizer play was sick for sure, but... What did he have? He had the Debris Dragon into the Red Dragon Archfiend um, to be able to get over it, which kind of sucked. But, yeah, I mean, if we had a way to have got to Amaryllis a little bit sooner, we could have went for the Brain Control, um, like the Brain Control push with Mark of the Rose and go for game. But uh, we couldn't get Amaryllis in Grave. Because had we... Let's see, he had the he had the plasma. But plasma's attack was what? He attacked the path. There's no attack of the monster equipped to it. Yeah. See, the problem was we couldn't summon. You know, this effect would be negated, so we couldn't we couldn't attack over it other than by taking the red dragon archfiend. Um. I guess another play we could have done maybe would be. Like ramming the Lord Poison, getting back Titanial, attack over the Plasma, and then maybe just hold the Mark of the Rose. But even then, like, what does that do, right? Still can't get over the Red Dragon Archfiend. Um, then setting Lord Poison there is definitely the right the right play for sure because. <coughs> he attacks into this with the Archfiend. Then we get the special summon back. Let's see what based off our hand. I think the card to a special summon would definitely yeah, definitely would have been Titanium. And the next turn we draw. His token would have died. He wouldn't have had Oh wow, that would have been sick. During straw, the monsters you control. Yeah, so that would have been sick because, like, if he doesn't have the Caius there, you attack the Lord Poison with the Archfiend, and then you can't attack over it with the Caius or the Token. So then these two both die. So the next turn we draw. 
Yeah, then it's just game because we rose, take the Archfiend. And then just summon. Yeah, so that sucks. You know, that's unfortunate. The Caius, um, sort of the icing on the cake for him in that game. But we were, we were hanging in there for sure. It's just, I guess in games like this where it's like a little bit of back and forth, Amaryllis can get you low enough to where you can just like, or can get your opponent low enough to where you can just make a push with like Mark of the Rose Titanial and attack him for game. But not getting it in the grave. Like we had plenty of plants, you know? So, but regardless, good games. I wish we could have played a game too. Um, his deck was pretty cool. It's probably it's probably just a quick draw deck or something. Like, I'm not really sure. But yeah, good games to that guy. I don't even know what I'm gonna call this. Um, yeah, it has there has to be a quick draw in here for sure. So yeah, we'll call it quick draw, and. I appreciate it guys uh i don't think i want to change anything right now um you kind of have to play these cards they're like good utility cards but they also really suck to draw and we had them both in our hand which kind of sucked but that's all right we'll um we'll keep the build we'll keep the build the same and go on to the next video all right guys appreciate it thanks